Welcome to St. George and the Ironman World Champs. After nearly three years without a World Champs, everyone is pretty excited to finally have a race. Yeah, and therefore it's also been almost three years since we last had a World Champs Expo, which means the industry are also pretty hyped, as are we. We are outside the Ironman Village. And we are about to go and take a look and see what is new. Well, let's go. Let's go. Okay, we're here at the Ceramic Speed booth. There's a few people getting some new toys put on their bike and we're gonna go and look at that in a minute. But while we were here, Christian Blumenfeld walked up and he's got a special something that no one's seen before. Uh, we're having a very good look at it. We can't actually show you too much of it yet because it's a yet to be released product, but Christian will be riding it at Ironman St. George this weekend. Christian, uh, obviously you can't tell us too much about your fancy new steed that you're riding, uh, but how long have you been riding it for? Oh, I've been using it for four, five weeks now, I think. No, more than that. Maybe seven weeks. And yeah, it's going to be epic to test it out on the race course. Uh, been playing around with kind of the position, and I think I came here with a little bit too aggressive position. And especially with the crosswind and everything there, I had to go back a little bit safer and kind of just get the arms down to make kind of a safer position. So. Uh, uh, yeah, it's going to be epic to test it out in, in, in race day and race conditions. I don't think you can get a better test for a new bike than the Sideman St. George course. So uh, definitely, like you say, it's going to be a real test. We'll be watching out for you on race day on this bike. Uh, it's pretty cool. You are getting a Ceramic Speed UFO chain put on right now. Is that right? Uh, yeah, so like with the, with the SRAM uh, chain and uh, uh, yeah, just to get some few watts for free, you know, it's... Uh, twice the amount of climbing that we normally have and it's kind of no place to hide in the course so it's just good to get the kind of free watts that I can get uh, before race day. Well that's awesome we'll uh, we'll be back soon with more tech and we'll have a much more in-depth look at this bike of Christian's but for now we wish him very very well for the race and we'll definitely follow you out there good luck Christian. Thank you so much. Okay, we're here at the Ceramic Speed booth and this is some real new tech. We love real new tech. In fact, we've got this ahead of GCN, so we're gonna put that out there. So, this is Cameron Wirth's bike and Paul from Ceramic Speed, thanks for joining us. Paul has just installed a new toy on Cameron Wirth's bike and it is the OSPW Aero. Now, we've seen the OSPW, that's the oversized pulley wheel system from Ceramic Speed. That's been out for a while. In fact, I used to use it when I was racing. Uh, They've released some new colors. There's gold colors and various other things for the pulleys. Uh, but this is what everyone's really talking about. And only five of these are in the country right now. Uh, it is the OSPW Aero and it is a aerodynamic version of the same uh, hanger that you've had in the past. Is that right? Yep, that's right. So we, uh, we see a lot of feedback in the market, people liking the product. We're always talking to our athletes, what can we do to best support them? And so we actually kind of took advantage of this pandemic window and really it's been the last two years in the wind tunnel, really focusing on how does the bike look back there? You got dirty air from the leg going up and down. You know, we did consider that with the first system, but now we wanted to spend the time to get the data and back it up and we're absolutely stoked to be here ahead of the launch officially so coming in june this is not even to the market yet no logos we're just uh, stoked to work with our athletes and get that feedback and give them the chance to go you know like the wind really so. okay speaking about that data that you mentioned do we have numbers how many how many watts are we saving over a normal uh, hanger and over an ospw hanger you know, I think actually I'm going to call this one to be uh, to be announced. We're going to save something for the June release. Um, we do have a great partner that will be co-branded on here. Uh, someone very known for bringing drag down to zero, we'll say. And we will have official data to share with everybody once the actual production systems go through the final testing. So we really believe in that. The 3D printed, we have the data, we love what we see. But we're going to go production systems, head to head against other competitors making claims. And we want to have very transparent data to really tell people this thing is the real deal really gonna go well they've already put it on some pros box and and we're talking about ceramic speed and they put it on pros box you know they don't they don't do anything by half measure they've got some history here uh, I can pretty much assure you that this is faster than the previous version it certainly looks good too and I can see some definite branding opportunities or maybe uh, national flags or whatever so 
Really interesting. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll be seeing a few of these out there on race day. And you saw it here first on GTN. Right, we have just got our hands on something quite exciting. This is a brand new kit from our partners at Trimtex. But it's not just Trimtex who've inputted to this. This is the brand new range launched by Christian Blumenfeld. Just yesterday, this came out. So it is the Blumenfeld X Trimtex range. And there's quite a few pieces, but the tri suit, I would say, being the signature piece. The fact that Christian has been working with Trimtex on this for two years and there's quite a lot that has gone into it. When you start to look, you realize how much detail. Apparently 10 different types of fabric, all from Italy. And you've got a hydrophobic front panel here. You've got some extra aeration for ventilation on the side panels. You've got aerodynamic arm pieces, more obvious aerodynamic panels on the legs. On the back here, you've got pockets, something I always find rather handy in a long distance tri so you can just chuck your gels or anything else in and they look pretty secure. And then there's the nice little details. I mean. Overall, I'd say that strikes you as pretty bold, doesn't it? Simple and bold, which is something I think Christian is very proud of, and it sort of seats his brand. But the fact it's been two years in the making and it didn't come out until after the Olympics meant he could add this rather nice touch, little gold tab. And as we know, the Norwegians are proud of where they come from. You can see the little part of the flag there. Now, you might recognize this style of suit. I don't know if you've seen it up close before, but it was the suit that Christian was racing in from 2018 when he broke the 70.3 Ironman world record right up until the Olympic Games. We'll talk more about that in a moment, but this range doesn't stop here. So this suit comes in this um, upper level and also a mid-range suit, but also it comes sleeveless for short distance or those who just prefer to have something sleeveless. So four tri-suits. But like I said, it doesn't end there. We've got inside here a rather nice looking jersey, which personally would be great in these conditions as I'm sat here sweating in a black t-shirt. Be a yeah, nice and bold and simple, liking the gold touch there. And oh yeah, also just see this here, all this fabric for the cycle kit is actually made from recycled materials, as are these bib shorts, which go very nicely with that jersey. Yeah, I've got more coming out of this bag. We've also got some running shorts, pretty simple, but classy looking stuff. And of course, to go with that, a run t-shirt. This is super lightweight, lovely for the summer. And this is actually made from 100% recycled fabric. So ticking a few boxes here, which I certainly approve of. Almost there, one final thing to finish up the range, a nice cotton t-shirt with a bold, bold statement, hurts more to lose. And all of this is out already. However, we did get a sneak peek of something that is yet to be available and we can't really look much closer. But if you keep an eye on the race on Saturday, you're gonna notice Christian in a very bespoke looking suit. It is similar to what we all saw him winning that Olympic gold. And it was a pretty iconic suit, wasn't it? When he, translucent and white good stuff was testing that out as well obviously designed perfectly for hot conditions like we've got here in st george and there might be a couple of other athletes wearing it as well but there's some serious technology along with the aerodynamics that has gone into that and we'll be seeing more of it i think in the sub seven project but more to come later in the year in Kona. So we've got to wait to have a closer look at that but exciting stuff All right, I think James has actually got tired feet because we've just come across UFOS and this foam, a proprietary foam, apparently takes around 37% of the pressure off your lower back and it supports your arch. Something that I am wanting to put on my feet right now after a day walking around the tech store, you know that feeling when your legs just ache? Yeah, these are soft. I mean, James is already rocking them. I'm not sure he's bought these, but he's just walking around in socks and sliders. You can't do the socks. I'll bring them no. back at the end of the day. I'm European now. I'm European, I can wear socks and sandals. All right, so carrying on our tour and we're with Quintana Roo now and they just released a bike, literally this morning. Uh, it is the Quintana Roo XPR. And you've heard of the Quintana Roo VPR, which you'll see under some of the pros. It is their top of the range, top spec bike. This one is making it the most of trickle down technology. That is, it's got a lot of the features of their top end bike, but for a for more affordable price. So it has the really fat chainstay on the non-drive side of, of, of the bike, which is designed so that there's no uh, facing surfaces that hit the wind. Obviously, it's, they say it's more aerodynamic. The front wheel uh, guards that air around the non-drive side, and then it glides off that chainstay that is nice and fat. Uh, this bike, as you can see, it has everything you need from a 
triathlon bike. It's got the storage in the front. It's got the venter box on the top. It's got storage behind the saddle. Uh, everything you need, uh, but at a much more reasonable price. So it starts at $5,100 for this, which is the fully mechanical spec bike. That is Altegra mechanical, 11 or 12 speed, uh, and mechanical uh, disc brakes. But you can, of course, build it yourself, essentially. Uh, so these bikes are all built to order, and you can choose the color, the color of the frame, the color of the decals, and then build the specs as you like. You can go hydraulic, you can go electronic, uh, as you wish and build that spec up starting at $5,100 far more affordable than those $12,000, $15,000 super bikes uh, but you're still going to get a pretty good performance so you think this bike you may see quite a lot of on the race courses near you later this year all right, you guys have probably noticed over the last few years, Pro is getting more and more custom-made aero bars and arm cups with them. While well, these guys have got some stuff that's off the peg. Just under a year ago, actually, TriRig have come out with this Alpha One, the base bar setup. But then they've got the various different scoops. So you've got the open back here, which is going to support your forearm, and then the closed back. I've got the name of this one, and then this system here is the ultimate. And I have actually put my arms in it earlier. And it does feel really, really comfy. I think I could kind of get used to being aero maybe if I had something like this on my bike. But yeah, cool to see stuff that the age groupers and us can buy straight off the market and put on our bike and get us in that position. The yo, yo, yo is all over the place, isn't it? You can even wear a yo, yo, yo suit. Check that out. Literally, it says on the tag, yo, yo, yo. Uh, it's pretty much everywhere. It's pretty cool. If you, if you check online, you can see it, say I'm lying down getting sprayed with paint, which is pretty much worth it isn't it pretty cool suit from zoot that rhymes so uh, is sam wearing this he is exactly the same well his guy that sponsors on it well yeah obviously <laughs> but zoot is one of his sponsors so yeah <laughs> pretty cool i i like it yo 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 again Well, that was pretty exhausting and exciting. So much so that we've pretty much crashed. James is already on his what, what coffee of the day is that? Uh, I don't know, I've lost count, but there's no such thing as too many. <laughs> Just like there's no such thing as too much exciting new tech. Well, hopefully you guys have enjoyed it as much as we have. Hit that like button and remember you can subscribe.